Hey guys, this is Rich at Rich TV Live, and I wanted to bring you some of this news that I'm seeing that is flowing about Aurora Cannabis, and it is positive news, and Aurora is popping because of it. Currently up 7 point, oh, now 8% Aurora Cannabis at $10.37, now up 8%. Now, what is the news that is making this run? Marijuana stocks, Aurora Cannabis will be the first profitable pot company, Cohen says. That's trending. As you can see here, Aurora Cannabis is the number one player out of all the big players today, ahead of T-God, Kronos Group, Organogram, and Cannabis Growth, which are all green, and the cannabis sector is green today. Here's another headline. Aurora replaces Cannabis Growth as the top cannabis pick at Cohen. Aurora Cannabis, ACB, is well positioned to benefit in the early innings of the Canadian edible adult use market, given its impressive 20% market share to date, says analyst Vivian Azur. She takes note on the company's large cultivation footprint as helping to weather early storms in adult use while continuing to grow higher value revenues in the medical market. There's also geographic diversity, providing a distinct advantage in growing its global footprint. ACB replaces Canopy Growth, CGC, atop Cohen's favorites, on a year-over-year -year basis. CGC is higher by nearly 90%, while Aurora is lower by nearly 20%. Azer also starts coverage on Kronos Group, but it rates just a market perform thanks to perky valuation. ACB is up 2.8% in pre-market action. This was printed earlier before the market opened, and then this came out. Cohen and Company analysts on Tuesday said Aurora Cannabis will likely be among the first Canadian cannabis companies to reach profitability. And they said that they would most likely be profitable by the fourth quarter of this year. If they can stay on track, that would be ginormous. Gigantic and enormous. Ginormous. Cohen and Company analysts on Tuesday said Aurora Cannabis will likely be among the first Canadian cannabis companies to reach profitability and named the company as its top pick in the marijuana industry, replacing Cannabis Growth. Wow. Thank you, Cohen and Company. The number one pick. Aurora Cannabis stock jumped while most other marijuana stocks put up more modest gains. Cohen analyst Vivian Azur, the first big Wall Street analyst to cover the cannabis industry, said Aurora Cannabis would likely be able to push a key profitability metric into the black before cannabis growth and other big rivals. She also called out Aurora's early gains in Canada's recreational market and immense cultivation capability as advantages, while establishing 20% market share has been an early success story in Canadian adult use cannabis. The company is uniquely positioned to drive leadership in both share and profitability, she said. Wow, this is great news for Aurora. She started coverage on Aurora Cannabis on Tuesday with an outperform rating and a price target of 14 Canadian dollars. Azer also stated started coverage on rival Kronos Group, CRON, on the NASDAQ with a market perform rating. She gave Kronos Group stock a price rating of 29 Canadian dollars, which it is personally trading at 29 Canadian dollars, okay? The, the first profitable pot company. Cohen's calls on Aurora and Kronos came as weed shortages strain Canada's recreational market. Analysts and executives say that these pot shortages could last through at least this year. Executives have also said that Canada's provinces miscalculated demand. Surprise, surprise. Didn't I tell you guys? They're way under calculating how much cannabis everybody is consuming and perhaps listened a bit too much to media reports warning of a marijuana over. Didn't I laugh at that? I told you guys it was a joke, right? As for its perspective, Prospects for profitability, Azar said that Aurora Cannabis is on pace to reach positive EBITDA or earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization by June. That would make Aurora among the first licensed pop producers to do so ahead of Canopy Growth, Afria, and others. This is huge. This news is huge. Azar said Aurora's containment of expenses not related to pot production as well as higher gross margins would help it generate positive EBITDA, 
Higher gross margins will also help, she said. Aurora Cannabis stock jumps. Other marijuana stocks muted. Aurora stocks rose 6.4% to $7.68 in America. And the stock market today, among other marijuana stocks, canopy growth edged 0.4%. Among other marijuana stocks, Tilray crept 1.1% higher. Afria was off 1.3%. And Cantrust, newly on the senior exchange in America, CTST, lost 2.5%. Kronos stock valuation, a sticking point. Azur said Kronos Group has taken a measured R&D-focused approach to making new products, giving it better prospects in the global medical market than in Canada's recreational or medical markets. She also praised the company's asset light strategy to eventually source ingredients from outside suppliers. Such an approach would help Cronus steer clear of the difficulties of cultivating cannabis on its own. It will also help Cronus focus on high-value manufacturing of finished goods. As are said, the massive investment by Marlboro maker Altria MO in Kronos also helps. As are said, the company's partnerships with Ginkgo, Ginkgo Bioworks intended to help it efficiently extract rare compounds in marijuana plants is also an advantage. However, valuation prevents us from taking a more constructive position at this time. She said, I also agree with that. Kronos stock rose 3% on Tuesday. Kronos Group stock has ramped higher since Altria announced its investment in December. Other analysts have worried that Kronos stock valuation has become a little too delicate with the ascent. GMP securities analyst Martin Landry downgraded Kronos stock in February, saying the stock had run higher on no material news. I agree. And this is why I believe that Aurora Cannabis is a buy similar to Cohen and company analyst Vivian Azur. I gave them a buy of $19 yesterday. I don't think it'll stay at $19, but I think it will go as high as $19 at some point. That is what I see. And as we speak, Aurora is climbing. They're on a full alert, now up 8.54%. We have a song for Aurora Cannabis. They are now on a full alert on this big news that is breaking. We give them a buy rating here at Rich TV Live. So do the analysts. We put them on full alert. This is your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We told you Aurora was a buy. Think about this news. If you like the news, if you like the news, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. Everybody's talking about Aurora Cannabis now being the number one play in the industry after your boy told you first two years ago they were the number one play in the industry and they have not disappointed. Aurora Cannabis seems to be making everybody happy and now they're the number one pick and they're performing like it. Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Rich. If you like this video, smash the like button, share the video everywhere. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Aurora Cannabis just keeps making us more and more and more happy. Thank you, Aurora. This is your boy, Rich. On full alert, Aurora Cannabis keeps getting better. It's true. I'm out. Peace.